what's good everybody welcome back to another video happy sunday uh here's a car and a mock setup really uh made over a different front mount motor kind of look like a key you know yeah man anyways that's just look like cosmetics um overall you can see the difference right now cut out the side windows the front one because i want more air to go through the car because i plan to do some work to it to stabilize the frame so you can see tuned for that as i've been saying before because i know how some ideas and thoughts a friend of mine from also youtube he has a channel on youtube as well and also on instagram dog's garage he gave me an idea of to upgrading my esc in which i'm going to do because this esc that i'm running right now it doesn't have boost it just has um timing so i can change the timing and the pun settings really but you know it's, there, there's more out there there's better out there this one was just one i picked up you know when i was kind of new to the hobby because let me tell you something guys this is kind of new to me the fact that i work on actual cars before but to actually you know come into this field of things and this hobby of things you know i'm now in a whole different realm sometimes with you know what to buy electronic wise so i bought that long time ago and it runs pretty well no joke you know i've gotten 41 miles per hour no sorry 39 miles per hour on a 45c lipo battery so it's not that bad when i have a bigger burst and it, it gives me good times as well but now i made a modification to the cap pack but if you watch my previous video on that i explained that so yeah this is what it is i'm trying to now get everything light because again i want to use the mats of port weight ratio to really get this car running some good times and you know i don't really always want to use my foam tires i want to also use rubber tires and i think mainly i'm going to use rubber tires even though the gears that i ordered are reinforced gears and whatever but you know i believe in long life of things especially when they come on to these things so whether it's a bigger car or a smaller car this type of stuff you know we still need long life in it because you know we want to have fun with it we don't want to always keep you know buying parts one or more be having it on the track testing and tuning and the fact that you know sometimes when you know you have the car if it keeps breaking down or, or breaking you know you don't really get that time to really dial the car in you know so once the car is really healthy and good like that then you know you can look out for some really really good pulls on this car the aim and mission is to build the world's fastest tamiya mo5 so that is what i'm aiming to do right now and it's not going too bad still you know just trying to use my brain now to get things up and running properly so like share and subscribe guys leave a comment down below let me know what you think about the build and stay tuned for more